tapos para magkita yung ano ko, yung notebook ko. So kita na, nakita na yung board natin, yung white, yung blackboard natin. Ano yung Nathan? Bakit ganyan yung tura ko dyan? May effects ka ba dyan Nathan kung bakit ganyan? Ah, okay, okay. So yun, uh, last time we ended sa defining the special angles and establishing the fact that all points on the unit circle are already cosine and sine. So yun lang naman yung last time, di ba? So we will answer some problems lang uh, using that concept. So tingnan nyo, ito, naglagay lang ako ng backup unit circle para we can easily look at an angle mamaya. So let's work with this. Kita nyo to? This is the problem. Guys. Kita. So what we're going to do is one, one trigo function out of the six. And this is second. And we're given a condition. And then we're asked to find a specific, uh, we're asked to get a specific expression then, which is in this case sine plus cosine. No? So, ito. Okay. So, second, uh, define natin ulit. You know that second, second is the reciprocal of what, what trigo function? Cosine. So, this is one over cosine. So, if you're familiar with cosine, let's define na natin last time as x over r. It follows that this is r of x. Clear ba yun? Clear ba yun? Now, remember, intrigo, guys, uh, guys, intrigo, R is always positive. In the Cartesian coordinate system, R is always positive. No. Bakit ko ina-emphasize to, tong, tong concept na to? Actually, yung module na ginagawa ko ngayon, it's about polar coordinates, another coordinate system. Yung R doon, pwede mag-negative. Okay ba yun? Yung R doon sa bagong isa pang coordinate system, pwede mag-negative. Pero in the Cartesian thing, the rectangular coordinate system, R is always positive. I am about 95% done with that, with that module, yung polar coordinates. And I will send it to you guys kapag tapos ko na. Sabi yung instruction sa amin, wag mo nang isend. Pero sisend ko sa inyo para an edited version of me. My own language yung makabasa niyo doon. Kung, kung paano ko i-deliver. Kasi kapag binago na ng editor yun, iniba na niyo yung grammar ko, hindi na ako. Parang ganun yung, yung idea ko doon. Kaya I, I will send it na agad pag tapos na. So anyway, R is always passing. And the relationship natin is X squared. Ay, bakit red yan? Masakit sa mata. Yung red na yan for emphasis yan. So, you know, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Yeah. Now, we're given negative 25. Negative 25 over 24. Look, hindi ko muna sa sulat yung negative. I said that r is always positive. So, saan kanino galing tong negative na to? Hindi yan kay r. Galing yan kay x. Clear ba yan dito sa baba? Remember, positive over negative is still negative. Uh, nasusundan ba guys? So, meaning, x is equal to negative 24 and r is 25. And dito papasok yung familiarity nyo with the Pythagorean triples. Kung sanay na sanay na sa triples, you actually don't need to solve. Kasi, ano yung ka-triple? Ano kaya yung missing y? 7. Oh, 7. 7. Kung sanay sa triple, no? Kung hindi, hindi you have to do this. Kung nakalimutan na yung Pythagorean triple, you have to do this, guys. Mm. Right? You have to do this. Again, minus 76 here, y squared here, 625 here. From this equation, you get y squared is 49. Now, guys, this is very important. No? A very important concept in an equation that involves a square. Dapat pag nag-square root ka, both sides, when you get the square root of both sides of an equation, dapat merong 
plus and minus. Is that clear? Kapag equation. Okay, guys, kapag tinanong kita, what is square root of 25? Ang sagot mo, 5. Clear ba yun? Pero pag tinanong kita, if x squared equals 25, what is x? Ang sagot mo, plus and minus 5. Clear? Mm. Ano kita yun? Yun yung mga simple things na misconceptions na na naturo tapos hindi na dala hindi na hindi na establish kailan ba positive ang square root kapag ano lang principal root ng tao what is square root of 49 7 pero if you have an equation y squared is 49 what is y dalawa sagot because it is an equation plus and minus 7 now dito papasok yung yung ano mo yung dito papasok yung decision mo kung sino kukunin mo sa dalawa Dito ngayon papasok yung condition na to. Yan. O, nasang quadrant ba yan? Yung condition in that problem. Guys. That our angle theta. Quadrant 3. Quadrant 3. Greater than 5 but less than 5 dito. O, now let me ask you. In that quadrant, ano yung sign ng y coordinate? Diba ano to? Negative, negative. So, ano yung sign ng y coordinate dyan? Negative. Negative. That's negative. why you will choose the negative one. Yan ang common mistake sa tingo, yung signs. So, so ibig sabihin, negative 7. So, okay ba yun? Now, it's time to answer the question kasi you are now, you are now sure of the details. Kung nakompleto mo na yung x, y, and r, kahit anong trigo function value pa isa itanong sa'yo, you can now answer. Sine plus cosine ang required. Sine plus cosine. You know that sine is y over r. Cosine is x over r. Actually, hindi mo na kailangan ko ito. Eh. Reciprocal mo na lang yung ibig. Because it's actually already given r over x, right? So, it's negative r, ano to? Negative 24, 24 over 5. 5. And y over r would be negative 7 over 25. 25. So, final answer, guys, would be 31. Negative, negative 31 over 10. Okay, right, guys, before I move on to the next question, ano yung pinaka general concept in solving problems like this. Uh, we're given one trigo function value and we're asked to get a specific uh, uh, another trigo function expression. R is always positive. X squared plus Y squared equals R squared. And when you get the square root, when you solve, kasi yung Akinger kanina, tinanong ko, ano yung katripol ng 24-25? When set 7, Kung sinabi ni 10, 7, edi danger yung 7, lalagay ko naman agad. You have to consider the location negative. of the angle. That's why it's not 7, but negative. Is that clear, guys? Uh, are we good with this first e example? Yes, sir. That is me, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, ah, joke lang. Oh, next one. Okay, oh, this time we're dealing with a special angle, so copy him for the bottom. We are in units here again. Yeah. You know that 17 pi over 3 is more than a complete revolution. I said that from the very first session. I myself, again, tama ba yun? I myself. Or me, myself. Uh, or me and I. Paano ba yung tamang English? Blay, wag mong mong tawanan. Anong, sabi mo sa ako. Sabi ko, ako mismo, parang ang Tagalog niya, ako mismo, hindi ako sa akin, sa akin, dyan. Sino ko, third of the degrees. O gawin mong English yun. I myself, I myself, I myself, I myself convert, I myself convert. 
in the negative, I myself am not comfortable. I, I myself is not comfortable. Is uncomfortable. You know, pag ginawa mo kung ano. I myself. Oh, Guys, welcome ko lang si Sita. No? Si Dia. No? Kung ako magaling sa atin sa mga salak. Hi, Dian. Is there any background noise? Is there any? Sorry, Dian. Oh, oh, oh. oh, sige lang, is there any? Is there any? Kasi when we convert this into its equivalent degree measure, ang laki nga, no? It's 180 over 360 times 17. In 60 times 17 is, hindi ko alam. Magkakalbalik ako. Guys, meron sa sikreto. Guys, in the new normal, hindi kayo a-attend ng klase. Hindi kayo papasok sa actual class. Kaya pwede kayo mag-calculate ito, guys. Diba? Huwag yun ang pakita sa screen sa calculator kayo. Di ba pwede? Kasi new normal eh. Pero ako papagod ako para siyempre. Di ba? 60 times 70. Imagine 1,020 degrees. Hindi ako sanay mag-reduce into the reference angle of 17 pi over 3 ng radians. Imagine, ako ayok. Hindi ako sanay. Dinig-degrees ko talaga siya guys. Hindi ako sanay talaga. So, Uh, di, alam ko, babawas ako ng dalawang kumpleto, which is 720. Kasi, 360 ang isang buo. Right? So, this is 300 degrees. Yan, yeah, 300 degrees. Diyan papasok yung kahalagahan ng tinatawag na reference ang uh, na reference and co-terminal angles. Intro lang ng intro lang ng sa tubo. Intro lang yan. Bakit nagtatagal ng isang linggo yung lesson dyan? Hindi dapat. Ang kalaga ng co-terminal angles, this very large angle is just co-terminal which is 300 degrees. And 300 degrees is obviously in the fourth quadrant here. 270. Ito, ah, 270. 300. Ayan. 270, then add another 30 so 300. Right? Itetrace ko lang yung ating terminal side. Yan. Yan. Yan yung 300. Now, ang teknik ko, sabi ko nga, hindi ako pag-comfortable sa radian. Kapag nakuha ko na siya, yung co-terminal, saka ko lang siya babalik sa radians. And the equivalent radian measure of 300 is what? Dito na. Oh guys, what's the equivalent radian measure? Ayan. Divide by 60, divide by 60. 5 by 3, or negative 1 3. Kaya, and then, label ko na lang dito as 5 by over 3. So, the question, if P is the circle, the angle is 17 by over 3, what are the coordinates of P theta? So, it's a point on the unit circle. It's a point on this. Ayan na yung unit circle. Ayan siya. 5 pi over 3. 17 pi over 3. Scott terminal with 5 pi over 3. So, I'll just refer to this 5 pi over 3. Now, ano yung tinatawag na reference angle? Now, again, I'll make my angle in degrees, no? Kasi 300. That means this is a 30 degree angle. Kasi 270 nga to. 90, 90, 90. So that means this is 60. We, the reference angle is always the angle made with the x-axis. So gagawin ko yung triangle. Ito siya. Yan. Ito yung terminal side. Ito yung triangle. Again. And then, kung 60 to, what is the measure of this? So it's a 90 degree, no? What's the measure of this? Guys. 30. 30. O, yan na nga yung ginawa natin last lesson. If this is a 30 degree angle, ano yung side opposite the 30 degree angle on the unit circle na you know that the hypotenuse is 1? So if the hypotenuse is 1, automatic that this side measures 1 half. And then the measure naman ito automatic is square root of 3 over 
follow that, guys. And we're asked for the exact coordinates of that point, of that point, and which I will write na dun sa green board. Siyempre, yung x-coordinate niya, yung nakahiga, yung x, one-half. Yung y-coordinate niya, yung nakatayo, ito, si square root of 3 over 2. But you are in the fourth negative. quadrant, dapat sino yung negative? Si ito ba? Right. will answer the question. The coordinates of our point on the unit circle having this as an angle of the terminal side is one half negative square root of three over two. Clear? And ano yung implication again of that guys in on the unit circle? Ito agad si cosine. Yan agad si cosine. Si sine. So pag tinanong ka, what is cosine of 17 pi over 3? One half. What is sine of 17 pi over 3? Negative square root of 3 over 2. Kasi galing siya sa 5 pi over 3. What is cosine 5 pi over 3? One half. What is sine 5 pi over 3? Negative square root of 3 over 2. Why? Because 5 pi over 3 and 17 pi over 3 at I, I am tinatawag what we call co-terminal angles. Angles that have the same terminal side. And it follows, if they have their same terminal side, they have the same trigo function values. Are we clear? Clear, guys? Can we move yes, to the next? Uh, next. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, you try. You try, guys. You try. Oh, wag ko lang maingay muna na magsasalita, no? I'm, I'm giving you, I'm giving you three minutes to answer this and then let's check kung tama yung nakuha yung sagot. Be honest. This is the new normal. Try to answer it on your own. After three minutes, we will, I will answer and we will see kung tama kayo o hindi. Okay, guys? I'll go. Wala bang chat privately dito sa meet? Wala, no? Pag nag-chat, in by everyone. Ah, sa Google, pwede. Ah, sa Zoom, pwede. Oo nga, no, may pin video, pinin ko si Jomel, din na ko yung buhok. <laughs> ano ulit, balik ko. Tatawa na ka, pin. Tinitesting ko yung pin na sinabi ni Gwen. Paano balik Pagdaan ng lahat, pag naka-pin. Paano balik? Sir, Paano tanggalin balik? niya yung pin niyo, yung sa akin. Tanggalin niya yung sa, sa akin. Yung, yan, yun, sir. Sa yung, chat? Sa hindi, ID? sir. Yung sa may, ayun, sir. Oh, tanggalin niyo. Ayun, tanggalin okay. niya yung pin. Yan, yan. Okay. Okay na. Check. Supply the pin ko. Oo, oh, naka-pin si Blay. Kainis. Mm. Tapos, mm. para matanggal, para mag-add ito rin. Tapos, <coughs> walang private chat. Walang chat private. Di. Send to everyone lang. Wala, sir. Yung iba walang bid. Mag-bid kayo para makita ko.
Yan, okay. Kaso hindi lang siya, hindi ko ma-scroll down yung gallery. Paano kaya i-apply dito yung pag may naunang sumagot, exempted, no? Paano kaya yun sa new normal? First to answer, exempted. Huwag ka nang matin. Sa, sa, sa ano na lang, sir, sa chat, ano, <laughs> first, tapos ano, pakita yung sagot, ganun. Hindi, ano yung magiging ano ba? <laughs> Sino yun? Are you done, guys? Kapiyan ko lang yung unit circle ko, ha? In this problem. That's the unit circle. So you locate the terminal side of this angle, and then... The intersection of the terminal side with the unit circle, yun yung kailangan natin. So, the, yan, si Jomel, may sagot na. Tingin nga, Jomel, ipin kita para mas malaki yung screen. Pati yan, Jomel. No, uh, hindi ko pinapahanap yung 6 trigo function. The question is just the coordinates of the point. Meaning, cosine and sine lang. Just the cosine and sine. Advance si Jomel. So, okay. Ah, okay. So, pwede, may gamit naman ng pin para lumaki ang screen. Bukod sa tingnan yung mukha ng crush, yun yan. Nathan, Nathan, pipin kita Nathan. Nathan, nakapin ka sa akin. Ayan. May sagot na, pakita mo nga. Yung tab mo, yung tablet mo, yung kung ano man. Napakita mo, lumilipad, parang watawat. Okay, okay. Okay, sige game guys. Let's answer that. Ayan, papakita na ako ulit. Kasi mag-discuss na ako. Okay. So, what we have is negative 5 by over 6. Ulitin ko, I myself am not comfortable with the region measure, guys. Kaya ako mismo, I'm converting it. And negative 5 by over 6 is one eighty. That's one eighty. Is Siyempre ako, di ko rin kabisado yan, guys. Negative 150. So if it's negative 150 degrees, we measure it count, counter or clockwise. If it's a negative, dapat clockwise. So, clockwise. Uh, 90, 30, ayun, it's 150 yan. Yan, so meaning, hindi ko na kukunin yung co-terminal niya, no? Because I already have this located on my unit circle. I know that this is one uh 150, 60 to, so mobra sa 90, kaya 30 to. So kung 30 yan, one half agad to. Automatic ito, square root of 3 over 2. Ganun yun, di ba? And automatic, it is on the unit circle, so cosine agad, ito. In sign, ito. Why are they both negative? Because the angle is located in the third quadrant. Right? Now, yun lang yun. Yung cosine lagi yung ganyan. Yung sign yung nakatayo. X, Y. Easy, right? O, yan. Yung trigo function values. 
Uh, now, sige. Are we clear on this? May tanong dyan? Oh. Now, usually I elicit the response. So, sa chat, sa chat nyo lang. Kasi sa Zoom, merong chat privately. Kaya tinatanong. Kasi ay, meron ako mga ongoing classes na sa, ano, sa review center. And then I elicit their response para hindi na kaya. Private, may private chat. Yung chat nila o private ni kung tama sila or hindi. Parang hindi nakakahiya kung mali sila, hindi makikita ng iba. Pero give a thumbs up if you're correct, guys. I'm scrolling down the gallery. Give a thumbs up if you're okay. Good. O yan. So easy, right? Ganun lang siya. Oh, now, next problem. Uh, guys, I'll let you answer this problem on your own na. So, yeah, it's the same principle. For what angle in the third quadrant is sine 5 pi over 3 equal to cosine of an angle theta? We're looking for that angle theta. Okay, uh, go guys. So, as usual, Jomel is already finished. I can see that. Tapos, uh, Bly, you're done. Uh, if you recall, guys, in our add-on mat, hindi ko talaga sinama ang trigo. Dumiretso ko sa conic sections. Pre pre part ng prekal ang trigo. Pero hindi ko sinama sa trigo because I'm relying on, sinabi ko to last session, I'm relying on that fact that you had this as an add-on on nung grade 9 kayo. Oh, pero sige, if you want to hear the lesson from me, eto na nga, ang ating cheap online sessions, trigo. We are now in session number 2. And guys, hopefully tuloy-tuloy ito hanggang matapos natin yung buong trigo content. Are we guys, you guys done? Okay, so sige, let's answer this one. First, of course, sine 5 pi over 3. Ito nga yung sikreto guys, no? Sine 5 pi over 3. You have your calculator with you. 
kayang kaya nyo na i-calculator to eh. Kasi hindi naman binabawal. Makikita ba ng teacher nyo na nagka-calculator kaya? Di ba hindi? Pero para sa akin, para sa akin, it's still, um, it's still a must that you should know how to do this manually, guys. Okay? Huwag umasa sa advantages na binigay ng COVID pandemic. <laughs> okay? So, 5 pi over 3, again, this is equivalent to what in degrees? Yeah. 300 degrees. Ayan. Thank you, thank you for converting. Pero, 300. Ako, ako sinasabi ko ulit, ulit ko sasabihin. Guys, hindi ako, hindi ko kabisado yung mga yan. Hindi ko kabisado yan. So, 300. So, may nagsabi na it's 300 and of course, kita naman, 300 nga naman. If you do the conversion. So, 300 degrees is located in the fourth quadrant. So, 270 all the way and then 330. Yeah. 300. Yeah. So, may sumobrang 30. Ito yung 60. That's your reference angle. Yan yung tinatawag na reference angle. Yung angle made with the x-axis. Your triangle is this. So, it means this is all. This is 30 kasi 90 to. It follows that opposite 30, this angle right here is what? One half. So, yung one half na yun, guys, is this side. It follows this is square root of 3 over 2. Yan. So, I'm just writing down the lengths. Pero the coordinates, the coordinates of this point, I'm, pinapakita ko pa rin yung proseso, no? If this is a point on the unit circle, the coordinates are exactly what? One half, half. and negative square root of 3 root over 3. Three. This is cosine, this is sine on the unit circle. Therefore, this is exactly negative square root of 3 over 2. Right, guys? And we are, this is equivalent to cosine theta according to the problem. So, ito na ngayon yung equation mo. Right? Now, you focus on this. What angle theta will give you a negative square root of 3 over 2? What angle theta will give you a cosine of negative square root of 3 over 2? 110. First, theta. You look at the signs first. Saan ba nag-negative si cosine? Saan nag-negative si cosine? Quadrant 3. 2 and 3. Right? Quadrant uh, pero specifically, tinanong sa'yo, third. So, pupunta ka sa third. So, hindi sa, ayan, you have to follow. Kung walang instruction na ganyan, for what angle? Yun lang sinabi. Ilan sasagot mo? Dalawa. No, 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 no. Infinitely many. Unless, ang bigay na instruction, for what angle theta, Tapos, bibigyan ka ng limit. From 0 to 360 degrees. To 2 pi. 2 pi. That's a Hayden standard. You get that point, guys? Yun lang naman yung nagiging mistake. Eh, yung pagpalo sa condition, sa restrictions. Now, we are now pretty sure it's in the third quadrant. And at natin yung cosine ay negative square. Uh, ang ang Cosine ay negative square root of 3 over 2. So just just use the fact that use your special right triangle. So kung ito yung square root of 3 over 2, guys, yung negative na yan, it follows that this is this side is 1 half. I'm not writing the signs, guys, right? So it follows that this is what? 30 degrees. Six. Ang 60 yung katapat nun. Nung square root of 3 over 2. Lagi kong binabase sa 1 half. Para di nakakalito. So yung tapat nitong, kasi square root of 3 over 2 to, di ba? Kasi cosine. Yan. It follows that this side is 1 half. So it follows that 30 to yung katapat ng 1 half na side. So your angle, narinig ko na kanina, your angle is this. From this, hanggang doon, is 2, hanggang dito, hanggang dyan. 180 na yun, no? Plus another 30. So, what's the answer? 210 degrees. But, radians ang given. So, you have to answer accordingly. Kung radians ang binigay, 
you should also answer in regions. Again, ako, ayan, ayan na, paulit-ulit ko sasabihin guys, hindi ko kabisado yan. Hindi ko kabisado yan ang regions. Inis ako sa regions. So, divide by 30, divide by 30. 7 pi. 7 pi over 6. 7 pi over 6. This is the correct answer. So, did you guys get the correct answer? Give a thumbs up. Kung tama kayo. Ay, hey, very good. So, ayan, ganun lang naman siya guys. Oh, ready for the next one? Si Lodi Jody parang tumawa lang. Saka naggamay Lodi Jody. Nasundan ba? Nakita ba kung bakit po din? Okay, good. So, sige, next. Oh, okay, ito yung next. Oh. We have an equation. Yeah, yeah try it on your own, guys. Kumukota na ako, ha? Lumampas na ako sa... Usual na turo ko na 30 minutes. Dati ang turo ko, ano lang, 30 minutes sa sa normal, sa original normal. Oh, that's a problem. So you're given a trig equation in terms of this, a condition that A is between 90 and 180. Okay, this time the problem gives the angle in degrees. So, pwedeng degrees na yung sagot. You answer accordingly. So, we're nearing, nearing our session, guys, na nasa slide 6 na tayo. Ayan, nakita nyo naman, tatlong slide na lang natitira. Masaya na yung, ano, para kung baga, uy, malapit na matapos ang session. Sa slide 6 na tayo. Si Sam, tapos na? Tapos ka na, Sam? You done? Last talaga ni Sam. Kaya lagi exempted yan eh. Si Jomel, mabilis pero na-empleyo. Si Tony ba nagpapakita sa video, si Tony? O, oh, ayan o. Oh. Sabi ni Tony, hindi siya magpapakita sa video. Nakahiga pa. Ayop yan. Nakahiga pa. Nagsasolve habang nakahiga. Sabi ni Tony, sesali ako pero ayaw magpakita sa video. Pero nakahiga pa, nakapost pa. Si Grisa, pati nga, Grisa. Ano kaya yun ang horny, walang video. Si Jules na late ngayon ha Kaya ito ang dito si Jules Jules Sorry sir, sorry sir Okay ba tayo dyan Jules Yes sir Ayos Si, teka lang, sino po ba yung nagsito? Parang gusto ko mahuhula ha Wait. Eh, sagot ako pero hindi ako sure eh. Lagi ka naman di sure. Sino ba talaga crush mo? Huwag gulo mo eh. Sure mo muna kasi bago ka gumawa ng move. Si okay. Dian. Hi Dian. Hi Jules. Si Dian walang video. Dian. Si Quaresma pala nandito. Hi, sir.
Oh, kasi si si Maxine may merong avatar, may avatar siya. Wala lang audio, hindi pwedeng mag-recite. Si Bonhor si Rain yan, sir. Ha? Ah? Si Bonhor po si Rain. Ah, si Rain ba yung Bonhor? <laughs> next time, next time block natin si Rain na kahit <laughs> kapag naggumamit ng ibang name, dapat may makaalam ha. One hour. <laughs> Ayan guys, okay na? Tapos na tayo? Can we start? Paano i-unpin nga ulit? Ayan. Okay. Again, let's start. Check your own work kung meron na. Ayaw sagot. Una, let's solve the equation. So una, that is simply collect all the terms in one side. Two cosine. Two cosine. Teka, ang pangit. Buring pa. 2 cosine squared A minus cosine A. If you move that 1 to the left side, that's minus 1 equals 0. And it is, this is factorable. Factorable to. You have 2 cosine A in this, and then cosine A. Of course, I'll put the 1. Saan? 1 lang naman yan, eh. so 1 and 1. I'll put the negative saan? Dito, no? Right, guys? And positive here. So that the middle term, when you multiply, yung do the FOIL, the FOIL method, will give you a, ne a middle term of negative cosine A. Tama ba? So you have these two factors. Uh, you, you know, how to sol simply solving a quadratic equation, you, you solve each factor to zero. So cosine A minus 1 is zero. From here, you get cosine A equals 1. Here, 2 cosine A plus 1 equals 0. So, solve each factor to 0. Talangin ko lang kayo kasi guys, gusto kong bumalik lagi sa basics. Eh. Bakit kaya ini-equate sa 0 yung bawat factor? Why are we doing it? Why are we equating both factors to zero. Any number multiplied by itself is equal to zero. Ay, de, any, any number sa zero yung pag multiply zero para. Kasi pag gano, pag equals one or equals two, may may ibang factors na incomplete. Kaya mas, mas madali na i-equate sa zero kasi I'm sure pa na zero lang yung factor na i-detain mo. O, oh, diba? Napaka-extensive ng explanation ni Jules. Pero summarize ko lang. Any number multiplied to 0 is 0. So if you make this factor 0, kahit ano pa yung lumabas dyan, 0 pa rin yung product because the other one is 0. Right? Anong tawag dito sa algebra? What property is that? May property yun eh. O pag nag-college entrance exam kayo, may mga ganong tanong sa susulpot. What property is that? That's called the zero product property. Proper DL. Yeah. So anyway, uh, here, you will get cosine A equals negative one half. Either way, solve natin parehas. Solve natin. Mamaya natin tindin to para more practice. Cosine A is one on the unit circle. You know na nag one siya dito. Unit circle yan. Nag-1. Sa ang angle yan? Uh, no, not theta. I'm sorry, hindi pala theta yung angle. But, ano yung nakasulat dyan ang angle? A. So, nag-1 yung cosine sa 0 degrees and and what? 360. 360. Tamang sagot. Although, 0 and 360 will satisfy this equation, hindi dapat siya isagot. Mainly because we limit yung angle natin sa, sa condition na 50, 90, 80. So, dito tayo sa saan nag-negative ang cosine? O sa big one half ang cosine? Nag-negative ang cosine dito at dito. So, wag na natin isama yung third quadrant kasi second quadrant nga. Tama ba? So, 
we, uh, we just we just draw an arbitrary line. Kahit ano lang, basta line na ganyan. Kahit ano, drawing ko lang ng line, ganyan line. And one half ang cosine. So make, make your reference triangle. Yeah. Reference triangle. You know, no one half ang cosines. Ito yun, yung one half yung nakahiga. Automatic. Automatic. Okay na ako sa one half actually. Okay na ako dyan eh. Kasi kung one half yan, I know this angle already. Ano yan? From our special triangles before. 30. 30. So ano to? 60. 60. 60. But, you know, angle is always measured in the position. So dapat mula dito, sa positive side of the x-axis, hanggang dyan lang. Si 60 yan, so our answer would have to be 120. Ako yun, guys? Yes, sir. That's it. That's simple. Ang danger kasi dati, ay, ito ha, na, nakita ko sa practice. Because I'm a teacher trainer too. Hindi lang sa Maxa, hindi lang sa ibang school sa Makati, hindi sa buong Pilipinas. Yung pagturo ng trigo, Dinadaan sa table. Dinadaan sa pag-memorize ng table ng special angle. Kaya yung mga ganyang problem, hindi masagot ng tama. Because hindi naman kailangan ng table. All you need to do is apply a concept. Ano yung concept? The 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. If you recall that. Opposite 30, 1 half. You have to just take, take care of the signs depending on location of the angle. Kailan negative, kailan positive. Depende sa kung saan quadrant located ang angle. Simple as that. Uh, now, guys, go. Uh, let's have another. So, lalabas muna tayo uli ng special angle. This is, uh, an, ano na, yung general values na. If tan A is 4 fifths, what is the value of 2 sin A minus cosine A over 3 cos A? That's it. Now, Ganito gagawin ko guys. This would be our last problem that I will discuss. Ang gagawin natin, I'll, I'll give you the next slide. I will let you see the next slide guys. This is the next slide. Nakita nyo, tama na yung problems dyan, right? So, this would be your assignment. Uh, diba? Para at the start of our lesson, next, our meeting, our chip online conference number three, I will just answer this agad and you check your work. Okay ba yun? So that I can directly proceed to the next topic. Are we clear? And our next topic is about identities. And improving identities. You recall these identities? Yeah. So this would be our last problem to be discussed for the day. And I'm giving you a few minutes to solve this. At least you know the plan for next session, which is on Friday. Okay? So, yun. I, I, uh, sige, sagutan nyo muna yan. I will have my final remarks after we discuss this problem. Diba, bing Jules yan, tapos na? Tapos na, Jules? Last talaga ni Jules. Guys, I'm, I'm giving the schedule MWF to your batch because yung schedule ng PTHS nila request nung graduating batch para mag-advance sila ng higher math uh, itetake nila sa college. So okay lang ba yun? We have MWF as our schedule. Hindi naman tayo nalampas ng one hour lagi. Sige lang, sir. Okay, good. Nathan, Nathan. Nathan, ha? Upload mo lang ulit sa, ano mo. Galing, galing. You know? Mm
Diyan dapat tapos ka na ngayon, diyan. Naunahan ka ni Emps. Daming na hindi na kabidan daya ah. Sir, sir, paano po 'yan? Oh, yeah. Ha? Paano po 'yan? Try to answer first. Oh guys. I... Show yourself guys. Marcos, video Marcos. Pwede naman ganito, ako oh, papakita ko from time to time, diba? Parang ganun. Basta meron ako nakikita ang ano, moving something. O kaya, yung kapatid mo, yayain mo, tapos siya yung nandun. Ay, si Grisha, naka-video na. Wow, ipipin kita, ayan ako. Kita nyo guys, si Grisha. Oo. Oh. No. Ay, wala. Anduya, andaga. Anduya, andaga. Anduga. Ano, sir? Ano, sir? Pinag-tripan mo lang eh. Ang daya, anduga. Di ba? Kapag tama ko sa anduga, ang daya. Anduya. Okay, so are you done? Okay, so tingnan nyo to, no? If you are a... Parang yung, yung pag-iisip nyo normal. If you're a normal person, you're asked this. Ang una mong gagawin is get sign and cosine. Kasi nakita mo dun eh. The problem here is that you don't have clue as to nasan yung angle. Nasan ba yung angle? Right? Walang nakalagay eh. So pag ganun, you get the principal, meaning the positive. So, if tan A is 4 pips, there are two possibilities. Tan is, remember, Y over X. From our definitions before, right? Yes, Jomel is signaling. If you can see Jomel's beat, it will only happen in 1 and 3. So, there are two cases. That X is 5, Y is 4, or x is negative 5 and y is negative 4. If you will look at this condition right here, ito yung pwede lang na pwede mangyari. So guys, I will just use this one. Ang gagamitin ko, ito lang. So if this will satisfy that condition, I can use this. That's the idea. I can use this. So if I have x, y, and r, O nga pala, wala pa akong R. But I can get R. Ito ba yung R? X squared plus Y squared equals R squared. Right? What is X? 5. X squared? 5. R squared? R squared? So R squared is square root of 41. Right? And R is, I said, in the coefficient R is always positive. Pero, sinabi ko na nag-forward na ako, meron kayong pag-aaralan sa grade 11 ng bagong coordinate system which is the polar coordinate system na pwedeng negative na yung R. Okay ba yun? So for now, positive lang ang R. So sure tayo, positive square root of 41. Ah, I'm sorry. Wala pa dapat square root ang part na to. R, is, R squared is 41. So when you get the square root, positive lang. Kasi hindi siya artificial contain, positive siya. So uh, the idea is you have X, which is 5. You have Y, which is 4. You have R, which is square root of 41. Now if you will do this, you need sine and cosine. So sine is what? Y over R. 
So, 4 over square root of 41. What is cosine? X over R. 5 over square root of 41. Now, if you will do this, this is a fraction. You do not increase. It's open space. Now. 2 times 4 over square root of 41 minus cosine, which is 5 over square root of 41, all over 3 times 5 over square root of 41. Oh, yeah. Now, 2 times 4 is 8. Tama ba, guys? So, that becomes 8 over square root of 41 minus 5 over square root of 41 all over 3 times 5, what's that? 15. Ah, no, no, sorry. Hindi yan ko sa alin. I'll be sensitive. Oh, okay. 15 over what, guys? 15 over... Ay, ano ba yan? Pambura pala yun. 15 over square root of 41. So, the numerator would be 3 over square root of 41. Denominator will be 15 over square root of 41. Now, look at that square root of 41. They are both denominators of both fractions located in the numerator and the denominator of this single fraction. Tama ba? You know that it will just cancel out. So, what's the answer? <coughs> 3 over, come on guys, 3 over what? Julian, you can, you can speak. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. Ito na yung mag introduction natin ng next lesson natin. Next time. O nga. Yan, sabi mo, erase. 1, 2, 3, sabi mo, erase. Julian, sabi mo, erase. Sabi mo, erase. Disappear. Disappear na lang. Disappear. Okay. May command. Yan ang si Julian, may command. Again, guys. This is our setup. Oh. You see the problems in the next slide. Uh, you see the problems in the next slide. Practice nyo yan. Yan ang una kong sasagutan in our next session. Sasagutan ko sa lahat. And then you just do your work. And then, our topic next meeting would be this. Identities. The identities. Una. Look at this. Sambaga, ang cosine, you know, cosine is x over r. Ang sign is y over r. From the definitions of the three functions, tangent is y over r. It ah uh, y over r. No, not y over r. Ano let y over what? Y over x. If you know x, x. x. this is the same as y over x cosine. One of the reciprocal, uh, one of the quotient identities. But if you notice, sine is y over r divided by x over r. R will just cancel out. Yeah, it will just give you 1 over x. It follows the sine over cosine. Sine over cosine is tangent. Right, guys? Right? Oh, now, look at my problem. Look at my design problem. You have a single denominator. You can easily separate them into fractions. Kasi the denominator is a single term. You see this? Are you seeing this? Do you agree with this, guys? Now, tell me what is sine over. What now? I'm not including that 3 there. I'm not including that 3 there. Tell me. What is sine over cosine? From one of our quotient ideas. Tangent. Tangent. And guys, what will happen to this cosine over cosine? One third. 
Cancel. Wow, wow. This will cancel. One. That's why mangyayari. This is just two tan. Meron ditong over three. And this is one third. So you have the same fraction. You have same denominator three. Tangent is above minus one. And you're already given the tangent. Which is four fifths. Right? Yes. Now what is two times four fifths? Pwede na natin i-diretso to, guys. What is 2 times 4 fifths? 8 over 5. Minus 1. What is 3 over 5? 3 fifths. 3 fifths. 3 over 5. 3. 1 fifth. Ding, ding, ding. 1 fifth by 3 is 1 over 5. Ding, ding. This is obviously the same. Right? Meaning... You can take advantage of the identities. Is it clear, guys? So, guys, this, I'll leave this to you for practice. You can answer this to anytime tomorrow so that our next session on Friday, I will directly give the answers to this and ask you if you got this correct. Only those problems, Samir Mali, I'll... I will, uh, are we clear, guys? Okay, and that is yes, our cheap online yes, session sir. number two. Right. Good day, guys. Good day, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you